Hello guys and welcome to this series of web concepts and in today's video we are going to talk about the secure flag in a cookie and how it is useful. So let's begin. Before we dive into the secure flag in a cookie, we need to understand few points. The first point is that the HTTP protocol is an encrypted protocol. That means any communication which is happening in between the client and the server will be in the clear text and if an attacker is sitting between those to client and server then it will be able to sniff the traffic and it will also be able to fetch the cookies that is being sent from client to the server. Once the attacker gets the cookie the attacker can log into the server using the user's credential or using the user's cookie. In contrast to it we have the HTTPS protocol in which the communication between client and the server is completely encrypted. In that case an attacker cannot read the cookies of a user. Now, these type of attacks in which the attacker sits between the client and the server are generally known as the man in the middle attack and there are a lot of variants of it. We will not be going into the detail of this but you need to remember this point MITM since the secure flags tries to protect us from the MITM attack. Now, the second point is that it is possible that during the man in the middle attack you might get redirected to some other website. That is, let's say you ask for the google.com, but the attacker sitting in between redirected you to the bing.com. Now, sometimes what happens, a website runs in both the protocols, that is HTTPS and HTTP. During that case, if the user or the client is asking for the HTTPS site, then the attacker or the man sitting into the middle will redirect the user to use the HTTP version of that site. And since now user is using the HTTP version, then the cookies or the communication will be sent into the clear text which then can be read by the attacker and then further on he can log in as that particular user into the server. Now the secure flags try to protect us from this sort of attack. Now let's discuss about the secure flag. When a cookie is marked as the secure when it is being sent from the server to the client then it is an instruction to the client or the browser that only include that particular cookie if the communication between client and server is happening on HTTPS. If the communication is happening via HTTP then that particular cookie will not be attached to the request. But if the communication is happening via HTTPS only then that particular cookie will be attached into the request. So while having the communication with the server if the communication protocol is HTTP then only the cookies that does not have the secure flag will be attached. But if the communication is HTTPS, then the cookies that have the secure flag as well as that does not have the secure flag will be attached to the request. Another point that we need to remember that only the HTTPS site can set the cookie with the secure flag. An HTTP site cannot set the cookie with the secure flag, right? Now to understand it better, let's take some example in our laptop. So first of all, I'm going to open an HTTP site and I'm going to enable my burp suite proxy. Okay. And currently if you see that in this particular case, we do not have any cookies, right? And I'm going to enable my proxy and we will refresh the page. Okay. So that request will be shown here and we will also intercept its response. So this is the response and I'm going to set the cookies and you will see what will happen. So I'm going to set two cookies here. The one cookie will be with the secure flag and another will be the without secure flag. Okay. So I'm going to write here ID equals to one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to give it secure flag and there will be another cookie that I'm going to set which will not have the secure flag and I will name it as a Vikram and also I will keep it handy for future and let's forward the request stop the intercept and here if I go to the cookies you will see that the only cookie that got set is the name with the value Vikram because it was an HTTP site and as we discussed HTTP site can only set the cookies without the secure flag right so the cookie with the secure flag did not get set and even in the console you will see that cookie ID has been rejected because a non HTTPS cookie can't be set as secure. Basically an HTTP site is trying to set a cookie with the secure flag. Okay. In contrast to it, let's take a website which is having the HTTPS. Okay. So here is one site and let's see its cookies. 
So currently it has some of the cookies that has been marked as true and some of the cookies that has not been marked as the true. So let's enable our proxy and I'm going to refresh our page. Okay. And after that, it is for the Google Ads, so we will forward it. And this is for the security exchange, the website which we were discussing about. So I'm going to say do intercept response to this request. And this is the response. And I'm going to add another cookie here. Two cookies basically, one will be with secure flag and another will be without the secure flag. Okay. I will give the name here as Vikram. So two cookies and let's forward it intercept as false. And in this particular case, you will see that both the cookies get added here. Okay. So if I come down, you will see ID as 12345. In this case, our secure flag was true. And another one name as Vikram. And if you see for this particular, the secure flag is false, right? Because it was an HTTPS site. And HTTPS can set the non-secure cookies as well as the secure cookies. So let's try to understand how the secure flag is helping us to mitigate some of the MITM attack. Now before that we are assuming that a website is using both the protocols that is HTTPS and HTTP. Okay. So in the case one, let's say we are not using the secure flag for the important cookies. So what will happen in that case? So first the communication is happening via HTTPS. Both the client and the server exchange the cookies and after some time the attacker redirected the user to the HTTP version of that particular site. So what will happen since the cookies are being stored into the client side and it does not have the secure flag in the upcoming request those session cookies will also be attached into the request and the attacker will be able to read that. But in the case too let's say we are using the secure flag for important cookies. In that case what will happen after the cookies has been exchanged between client and server then if the client is being redirected to the HTTP then the client or the browser will not include those imported cookie in the request. Why? Because that has been marked as the secure and if it has been marked with the secure flag then the cookie will not be attached in the HTTP site. Right? So in that case the cookie will not be signed and the attacker will not be able to read those particular cookie. Now let's visualize the same in our laptop. So I'm going to open a website that is sudo.co.il which uses both the protocols that is HTTPS and HTTP. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to open is HTTPS version. And I'm also going to show you the cookies at this moment. You will see all the cookies has been marked as false. So let's cite one cookie with the secure flag. Okay. So I'm going to intercept as all and let's refresh it again and we will in response intercept and during the response we are going to set two cookies again that is one with the secure flag and another without the secure flag okay let's forward it intercept as false and right now if you see now we have one cookie that has the secure flag as true and another cookie that has the secure flag as false and in this particular case if i again do intercept as on and refresh the page you will see that the ID is also being sent into the request because the communication between client and server is HTTPS. Okay, so the cookies that has been marked with the secure flag will also be attached into the request. So let's forward it, intercept as off, and now let's assume that the attacker has come and he has redirected you to use the HTTP version of that particular site. Okay, so now I'm going to open its HTTP version. Okay, and right now since the cookies has already been set up for this particular domain you will see the cookie still exists in our browser okay that is id 12345 but in this particular case if i again make a request then you will see that id cookie will not be attached into the request why it happened because id was marked with the secure flag so it will not be attached if the request is being done on the http protocol and since that particular cookie is not sent, then the attacker will not be able to read it. That is how the secure flag is helping us to protect from MITM attack. Now keep a note that MITM has a large number of attacks possible and we are just discussing one of them. Okay. So don't assume that the secure flag is helping us to mitigate all sort of attacks that can be possible via MITM. It's just one of its kind. 
right so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i have to see you in the next video